Good morning, Mr. Ogletree. How are you today? My belly hurts. I'm sorry, what hurts? No, no, just which leg is that? This is Dr. Dykes. Dr. Dykes, tell us about Stan. Welcome, students. Today, um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Stan. Stan has a little bit of any windows you have to learn about. Um, sometimes when you listen to Stan's heart and lung sounds, he has all the actual heart and lung sounds, but sometimes um, you'll hear a little bit of rubber and metal clicking, and you have to kind of get used to that. Stan has actual pulses. When you put your fingers on his touch pad, you can actually see your finger jumping. Um, you can get radial pulses, brachial pulses, you can get femoral, popliteal, dorsalis pedis, and posterior tibial pulses. with our students in September. So up until this point, we've probably had about 150 students go through simulation lab. We've done simulations with our students who are at the junior level as well as those who are at the senior level. And some of the things that we've used him for are to put students in a simulation where they may not actually see that in practice, but they still, if they do see it, will need to be able to handle it. For example, we have him uh, be a post-operative patient who comes back and is hemorrhaging or bleeding and we give him blood and then he has a transfusion reaction to the blood and goes into shock as a result of that. Not something you want to see in practice, but when it happens you want to be able to react very quickly. So our students can see that in the lab, we can talk about how they react to that, and then we can talk about how might they do something a little bit differently or better uh, when they're in a clinical setting. We've also used him, transformed him into a woman, and we've used him as a postpartum patient uh, and had students who are in our OB class come in and do a scenario where they're taking care of a woman who's just had a baby. 
Uh, we are able to use different techniques to simulate um, the uterus. So for example, we can put things under his skin and his abdomen that feel very much like a woman's uterus would feel right after she had a baby. And we have our students assess that and tell us if that's normal or if it's abnormal or what they would anticipate assessing with him. saturation, his body temperature. Um, so I want you to treat Stan just like you would a normal patient. You can communicate with him, his family. Um, look, he has a chart, he has medications. Um, he's going to act like it's a real patient. So enjoy working with Stan today. Talk to Stan because Stan will talk to you. <laughs> My belly hurts. 